Welcome back to IndyCar Racing. We're going to continue on with our hardcore season with one of the fastest Friedrich Bang named drivers in the world. Uh, so yeah, let's continue on. It's been long overdue, but now I finally have a little bit of time in my hands. So I thought, what the hell, let's go. Let's continue on. And we're headed to Phoenix. The Phoenix International Raceway and it's the first oval of the season and it's going to be bad. Yeah. Uh, so if you have high expectations for this race then please lower them immediately because if we're going to finish, if we're actually going to finish this race then that's going to be the biggest surprise in the entire history of the universe. Uh, here are the current season standings. Friedrich Bang in the lead. But not for long. Nick Montel, alias Nigel Mansell, second. Al Anser, Rol uh Mario Andretti, Rich Grandio. I don't remember anymore which one of these were fake names. Uh, but yeah, here are the, the, the current standings. Uh, the AI in this track, man, they are so bad. Like, I did uh, quite a lot of practice. Uh, but I didn't improve at all, and uh, it seems that it's it's next to impossible to survive a full race here. Now, there are tracks in IndyCar racing where the AI is alright, but this is definitely not one of them. Uh, in, in race conditions, they just stop in the middle of the track, they, they almost come to dead stop, and it's almost impossible to react because the speeds are so high. And uh, then if you are too careful, they will hit you from behind. Uh, it's, it's going to be a mess. So, yeah, let's just try to survive as long as possible. Uh, here is my... Let's check out the wing settings. As you can see, a lot of front wing and quite a low amount of rear downforce. That's just... The, the car is very, very uh, loose. Uh, it's very difficult difficult to control. This is a very aggressive qualifying setup because the AI is very fast in qualifying uh, and I want to do everything I can to avoid starting from the meat pack because that will be like instant death. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a very difficult qualifying set, setup, very, very challenging to drive but uh, on the other hand you just have to survive for two laps and then you're done. So let's hope We'll do that. Here we go. This should be the easy part. The qualifying. Just hoping we can have a good result here. Tires are gold. It's, it's very, very loose. Very difficult to control. Oh man. It's a real handful. handful. Let's try to get up to speed. It will get better once the tires heat up. Here we go. That was a decent lap. Let's see if we can do even better. I don't think that was better. Oh, it was! Oh, P6! Uh, that's actually a very good, good result. Oh man, one of the best, the best ones I've had here. Uh, as I said, I, I did a lot of practicing and I think like P5 was the best so far, so I'm, I'm very happy with P6. It means that we, we don't have to start from the mid back. So it'll make the beginning of the race a bit easier, but you know, it's, it's still going to be very messy because uh, you hit the, the lap traffic really soon here. Overshot. That's alright, I forgive give myself. Mario Andretti, incredible speed, 178 miles per hour. Bobby Ray Hall, Danny Sullivan, 
Uh, Friedrich Bang, Nigel Mansell, eighth, so not not a great race for him. I don't know if you can change these names mid-season, like the imaginary names. I don't know. But yeah, a very good qualifying result for us. I'm happy with that. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the race. We don't need no warm up. I have already constructed a race setup that is a lot more uh, conservative, obviously, than the qualifying se uh, setup. As you can see, the wing, wing settings here. And uh, also, let's make sure we have enough fuel. We do. Also, on the right side of the car, I have medium uh, compound tires because the soft tires just simply explode here they overheat and explode and that's something you usually don't want to happen so yeah i think we'll we'll go to the race and we'll try to survive as long as possible have to be very very careful Just take it easy. Green flag, not not a great get away from me. Now I'll just have to be very careful in case they check up. This time they didn't, so we might survive the first lap. Don't want to make any stupid moves at this point. There's some, someone going for the overtake. He gave up. Careful now. Okay, I lost the position. Okay, now I'm losing multiple multiple positions. That's never too nice. This guy is very slow. Got him. P7. Don't hit the wall. Careful now. Oh man, okay, that was all my fault, unfortunately, what a, what a stupid move, I went to the grass and we hit and, well, that's the end of the race then. That's unfortunate, uh, let's check out the replay, what, what actually happened there, I went to the grass and then the car pushed white and uh, that's it. And everybody just stopped. <laughs> oh god. Can we see this from another angle? Come on. Yeah, I hit hit the grass and then the car just pushed pushed wide. Uh I was very critical about the AI, but this was all my fault. Yeah, there's no deny no denying that. What the what the what the stupid thing to do. Oh well. I shouldn't have gone for the overtake there. Well, uh, it was fun as long as it lasted. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Let's see this from... Oh, damn it. Uh, 
Well, uh, yeah, let's forget about that. Uh, let me just take the wheel cam off. Just a second. So yeah, uh, here we are. These are the results. Let's go. We, we made it f four laps or something, though, so that's not too bad. <coughs> Let's go to the accelerated time. Yeah, that's that really sucks. Unfortunately, also, you can't view the race. Uh, uh, you, you just have to simulate it, si simulate it with the accelerated time thing on Bob. But yeah, uh, very, very unfortunate. Uh, at least I, I would have hoped that uh, if we retire, it's someone else's fault. But unfortunately, this time it was our fault. So, yeah. Well, this is the nature of the hardcore season. You only get one shot, and if you fail, then you have failed, and it's all over. Uh, that's, uh, I guess, part of the appeal. But on the other hand, it's, it kind of sucks when stuff like this happens. Uh, I don't know if we'll do some kind of a quick race after we're finished with this uh, accelerated time thing. I, I unfortunately, even the accelerated time is very slow here. So we will wait that. I will accelerate it even more for you. And uh, we'll check out the results. And then perhaps we'll do some kind of a quick race just to get... Uh, a little bit more racing uh, out of this but yeah that's unfortunate I, I guess I'll see you in a bit bye bye And here we are, nine laps to go, eight laps to go. Scott Goodyear currently in the lead, Nick Montel, aka Nigel Mansell second, Fittipaldi third. So there's your podium. Nigel Mansell pitting actually, and Scott Goodyear also pitting. Holy crap, very dramatic pit stop right at the end. Uh, Nigel Mansell dropped down the fourth. Uh, three laps to go. Mansell now one lap down, very close finish. I, I guess there was a caution or something, because the caps were actually quite large. Here are the final uh, results. Uh, Scott Goodyear, Fittipaldi, Bossel, Nick Montel, Mansell, Andretti, Johansson, uh, Lynn St. James, Jimmy Vassar, Didier, uh, Theus. So yeah. There we go. Quite a lot of retirements. 16 cars finished. And a very sad, sad race for Friedrich Bang. Dead last. Did not finish. And here we go. So yeah. That's the end of, uh, end of the race. Let's leave. Uh, here are the season standings after Phoenix. Nigel Mansell takes the lead. Bo Roll Bosell, Mario Andretti, Scott Gudier. Friedrich Bang drops down the fifth after his retirement. So, there we go. That sucks. Unfortunate. But yeah, uh, I think we'll do a little quick race so that we get a little bit of racing for this. Uh, for this uh, video will do just a like 10% race length. Come on. 10%, that should be 20 laps. Uh, opponents, I will reduce the opponent strength to 100% for this one. We'll do the hardcore season with 102, but I guess. We'll make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Uh, let's go to Phoenix. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the qualifying. 
Let's load a qualifying setup. There we go. And let's qualify. And let's see if we can get a pole position. Would be nicer to start from from poles or we we can just run away to a glorious victory of a race that doesn't mean anything. The car is very loose. Okay, here we go, here we go. Go, go, go. First corner was alright. messed that up a little bit but the lap time was all right still says we're 26th I don't know why guess that's a glitch this might be pole position but we'll see oh p2 well I'll take p2 that's that's quite all right that's quite all right roll Bozell starting from pole position for this race my phone just dropped let's slow the race setup there we go actually I, d I have no idea how much fuel I need so I guess we'll it's a 20 lap race so let's take 15 gallons I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be plenty enough but yeah here we go Here we go. Let's hope this will be a better race than what we had. In 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 our hardcore season. Let's get ready for the green flag. There's the green flag. Rick bang for the win we're in the lead everybody fantastic now only thing we need to do is not to screw it up and it's just few laps and we'll immediately hit the lap traffic and that is when the problems start although I'm almost Almost uh, crashed the car all by myself there. Okay, easy. 13 gallons left. I don't know. I hope I, I hope we have enough fuel. Yeah, we should have enough fuel. Projected laps 19, so that should be very good. I'm accidentally changing my turbo boost setting there. Let's go back here. Okay, and here's the lap traffic then. Easy. Thank you. They they do let you buy pretty politely, but the problem is when they're battling with each other, they don't really know what to do. This guy is just stopping. They are all over the place. Okay, managed to clear that gaggle of cars, which is nice. Hopefully things will settle down a little bit. 14 laps to go. It's a it, it goes pretty quickly. Uh, 
Oh, what are you doing, man? Oh god, these these guys they are crazy. Can I go, please? Once again on the grass, I don't want to be there. This time we survived. 12 laps to go. We're 6 seconds ahead of the driver who's sitting at P2, so... They are very slow, even if we have... It's still like 100% AI strength, so they shouldn't be this slow. But as I said, in, in race conditions they are just just a mess here. Nice. Easy, easy. Nope. Can I? No. Oh dear. Ah, that's the end of the race once again. Yeah, let's check out the replay. That sucks. Uh, I don't know what... He was beside me, but he refused to let me go. This might still be my fault. Well, kinda. I kinda drove into him. Can we see a... A bit of a better, better angle. Uh, sky, that's that's the angle we want. So here we are in the dog leg, and these guys are too wide here, and there's just no no space for that. So we're done once again. We couldn't even survive for a twenty percent, uh, ten percent race. So, uh, yeah. That, that's a big, 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 big problem. Uh, let's leave. Yes, really leave the track. Let's check out what uh, what we have next in the championship season. We are going to Long Beach. So this is a street course and I'm much more at home here. Uh, it's, it's a track that I used to drive a lot in the 90s when, when I had had this game and, and it this was actually the first race of the season because I didn't have the track extension back so I'm hoping we'll get a better res result from Long Beach uh, but yeah I think next we'll see you in Grand Prix 2 uh, so thanks for watching this very very sad little video of mine uh, bye bye